So again, it is a uh, shop local Saturday. We're in uh, Clifton. I met a uh, young lady earlier this week who is uh, all about dessert, and uh, she's committed to quality. Making a few things really well is better than having a hundred things that are mediocre. Out of the over a hundred places I've tried for French toast, this is my number one spot for French toast. So, really? Yes. It's I, that good. I literally get it twice a week on Saturday Sundays because only a bunch on the weekends, but it's it's to die for. It's always my go-to craving. Our menu changes daily. It's um, all of our customers' favorites right now. So it's a rotation of 16 to 20 items that we've made the best we can possibly make. And how do you keep people informed? Social media. Social media is the key to getting people in the door here in Clifton. It's not the same menu, but it's always exciting for me to try something new. These look like massive croissants. They are. They are our everything croissant, our signature plain croissant, and then our cinnamon toast crunch. And it changes daily. What are these? Uh, cannoli brownie. Ooh, cannoli brownies. This looks fantastic. What is this? Mini chocolate cream pie. So you can have more than one. Exactly. Yes, that's How many plan. equal a full one? Yeah, I right? don't know. <laughs> What's this? This is our uh, classic funfetti. What? Now this looks unusual. What is that? This is a French galette. It's blueberry peach. What? A what? A French galette. It's a mini hand pie. Ooh, a mini hand pie. Donuts. Donuts. Now these look like they're going to melt. This looks like a fudgesicle. Yes, but they have cake in the center. What? Double chocolate cake sickles. This is a double chocolate cake sickle. Let's see if it's any good. Mmm, 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 it's good. What would you say to encourage people to support locally owned businesses? Here you're helping a family pay their mortgage or their rent. You're giving a kid sports lessons. You're really like, you're coming in and you're supporting someone who's your neighbor. So it's important not only for people to support me, for me to go and use my platform to support other small businesses. When you support your money to the small businesses, you're supporting your community as a whole and you're really supporting someone's vision and their livelihood. Uh, I could work for people for the rest of my life, but I would never get rich from it. So it was time to stop working so hard for everybody else and work really hard for myself and really make it worth it. And it's paid off. It has. Well, just starting to. Yeah. <laughs> what would you say to encourage other women to um, follow a dream and open their own business? Figure out your plan. Come with, come ready to work a little bit harder, um, but with a solid plan. And I think you can do anything a man can do. So you know these shop local stories are ultimately about the goods and services the businesses provide. But it's great to meet these inspirational business owners that are persevering and ultimately succeeding. And by the way, Cindy, that thing was delicious. So back to you. Is that the only thing you tried? Because. Producer Megan and I were just salivating over all the things you were showing us. We tried a lot. <laughs> You're so lucky. You and Vince. All right. Thank you so much, John.